Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new video. So this is actually a short video detailing a specific feature of MongoDB Compass. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I tend to get this question more often than not and I get pretty surprised that people ask me how do I import my already pre-existing JSON and pre-existing CSV files into MongoDB. So this is what this video is going to be about. So we're going to use MongoDB Compass to import both JSON and CSV files. So if you don't know what MongoDB Compass is, it is basically the graphical user interface that allows us to interact with our MongoDB databases that exist on both our machine and the cloud. Here we have a connection string. So here we would typically connect to maybe a MongoDB Atlas instance on the cloud. So this is a database that's on the cloud and it would have its own connection string and we would connect to it. But in this video, we're going to connect to our local host. So I'm just going to paste the connection string and talk about it. So we connect to our local host on this port. So this is the default port for MongoDB. And we just press connect. And now that we are connected, we can just check out the different databases that exist. So we have admin, config. Some of these are default databases. As well as example, local, my database, and so on. So I will not go into detail about different MongoDB Compass features because I have an entire video dedicated specifically to that. But for simply importing, this is your video. So now if we want to create a database, so I'm just going to create a randomly new database. So let's say sample database. And now I can create a collection within it as well. So I'm going to call this collection sample. And I'm going to create this database. So now I have the sample database and the sample collection. So now that I've started, the first thing I see when I open up is this connect collection has no data. It only takes a few seconds to import data from a JSON or CSV file. Now we're going to do this for both types of collections, those who have no data within them. So just like this screen where we're being prompted to import this data, as well as those who already have pre-existing data within them, but we would like to add some more data to it. So here's what we're going to do. So we're going to import data by pressing import data and we can, we can select here the input file type. Then we press browse and this will take us to a standard file explorer. So we'll do the following. Now this is the sample data sets file that I have existing on my PC. So now for JSON, I have maybe this products file right here. So if I press product and I open it, now I have a JSON file. Now I import and this is the JSON data and it's been transformed into this sort of nice format where we can see it in a more MongoDB type of style. However, we do know that MongoDB uses binary JSON called BSON and this is how it stores the data. Now we can see it in a more JSON-like view by pressing this button right here. And these are some JSON objects that we can see on our screen. So it's pretty straightforward. There's really not much to it. Now we can do the same. So let's just go back to the database. So sample database and create a new collection. So let's just call this sample two and create this collection. Now I'm going to import some more data into this collection. So here I have this CSV file right here and it's called grades and it contains some type of information about students and their grades. Now if I press import, this is what I have. So everything gets converted automatically into a type of MongoDB um, format, you could say. And this is what we have. So it's pretty straightforward. Now, one thing to note is that with CSV, everything is technically a string. So here we are grades in a sense were imported as strings rather than numerical values. So this is pretty much how you do it for, an, for a new collection in a new database. This is how you import both JSON and CSV files. Now, if you want to do the same thing to an already existing database and you're lacking this whole prompt right here, all you have to do is simply add data and then import file. And you could do, you could go back to the same dialog right here and import a file the way we just did. So I hope this was useful. I hope you managed to learn one new thing concerning a feature in MongoDB Compass. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye bye.